morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. What was your name? Sirisha, sir. Sirisha, okay. So, can I have your resume? Ah, yes, sir. Okay, Sirisha, introduce about yourself. Good morning, sir. My name is Sirisha. I was born and brought up in Betanchala, which is at Nandal district. Uh, currently, I am studying third B.Tech in Dr. K.V. Subbarati Institute of Technology. Coming to my hobbies, uh, reading books, playing and cooking. Coming to my achievements, I achieved a third prize in Dr. K.V. Subbarit Institute of Technology which is conducted at uh, National Science Expo. Uh, coming to my skills, I am good at uh, Python and web technology. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay. Sounds simple. Okay. What are your hobbies? Reading books, playing games, cooking, meditation. Okay, then uh, you said you are uh, good in Python and web technologies. Yes, so, in which tools you have integrated with your web technology? CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. JavaScript. Okay, good. So, okay, Sirisha, uh, like uh, you are good in Python too, you said. Ah, yes. Okay. So, how good you are in Python? Like uh, out of five, how can you rate yourself? Three. Sir. So, three. Yes, sir. Three sounds good. Yes. Okay, then. Uh, so, can I go some questions with Python? Ah, yes. Okay. So, before asking some questions. So what was your uh, favorite concept in Python? Favorite concept, sir? Uh, for loops, sir. Loops. Ah, for for loops. loops. Exactly loops. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, because it is uh, good for me and it is like a game yeah. to write a code. Mm -hmm. yeah. so sounds good. Okay, then, uh, Ms. Risha, so I will ask my interview uh, with Python now. Oh, okay. So later, later in case, uh, if the time exists, we will go, go with the web technologies. Okay? So, firstly, state the definition of Python. Yes, sir. Python is a high level language and it is predefined language. It is mostly widely used programming language. Uh, it, it, uh, it supports OOPs concepts and it is easy to debug. Sir. Okay. So, which kind of programming language is Python? Scripting language. Scripting language. Uh, then, why it supports OOPs? Uh, it supports OOPs because it is easy to write a code. So for the user friendliness, user as friendly. scripting languages are not preferable for the uh, uh, for development of application as they accelerate the weak. Uh -huh. So for that thing, it was it developed or it was derived for the uh, supporting OOPs concept. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, then, uh, so do you know anything about data types? Ah, yes, sir. So data first of all, uh, what is data types and how many types of data we are having in Python? Okay, sir. Data types uh, are classification and categorization of uh, human language elements like uh, Alphabets are numbers. Uh, it convert. Uh, it converts like a uh, machine language. Mm, we have five types of data types: number type of data, sequential type of data, uh, and sets, uh, dictionaries, boolean. Okay, good. Uh, in number type of data, we have three types: integers, float, num uh, next uh, complex numbers. In se in sequential type of data, we have again three types: list, string, and tuple. List, string and tuple. String and tuple. What is the difference between the list and tuple? List, list is a, uh, it is a collection of uh, heterogeneous elements uh, and it is uh, created with uh, square bra square brackets and separated with commas. Uh, list is immutable. List is mutable uh, and it is uh, indexed with both uh, positive and negative. It is uh, it supports uh, duplicates and tuple. Uh, tuple is it is also a uh, heterogeneous uh, collection of heterogeneous elements and uh, it is indicated with uh, parentheses uh, separated with commas. It is also a uh, mutable. It is mutable. It is, immut immutable. Tuple. Tuple is uh, immutable. Uh, it is it is also indexed both positive and negative. Okay, good. So you have mentioned a word like. Uh, Heterogeneous. Yes, so, what is heterogeneous? It is a different type of data like strings, numbers, uh, and again uh, complex numbers. Like the collection of collection different of type different of data items. which were represented in some, some containers. containers. Okay, good. Okay. What is a variable? A variable, uh, a variable is related to a data uh, and it is given to the memory location, address of the memory location. Name, name to the oh. address of the location. Okay. So, like uh, as we are discussing about variables, yes, so can we something uh, mention about? Uh, so we are having some scope towards some variables in Python. So can you uh, explain about the scope of variables? Uh, 
scope of variables sir yes global variables and local variables sir global variables are classes and local variables are in instance variables okay that's it yes. so i have asked the uh, because the uh, local variables and global variables are concepts of script. script then where the class and instance came on came out of so it is not related to the oops okay there are the scripting language okay good. so do you know anything about oops in python uh, yes sir oops uh, it is a object oriented programming uh, oops execution is its compiler uh, and it uh, it is derived from uh, java is derived from oops concept sir okay good so then why python is supporting oops uh, because it is easy to for user friendly user friendly Okay, so uh, why Python is called interpreted programming language? Uh, it it uh, executes line by line. Uh, why it executes line by line? Why because the execution engine yes. itself that executes the code in Python is interpreter. Interpreter. Okay, okay then. So uh, like as you are mentioned about some interpreter, we are discussing about some interpreters. So, uh, I think you are aware about, about some translators, right? Ah, yes, sir. So, what are the translators? It translates, uh, human level language, it translates human level language into mission language. It's called translator. Uh, we have three, three types of translators, compilers, interpreters and uh, uh, assemblers. Yes, sir. Uh, so, compilers are, um, it, uh, it executes a code in single step. Interpreters are, it executes a code in line by line. And uh, assemblers are, it uh, mission language like uh, it also known as minimalic code like add multiple sub. So they translate from mission minimalic codes to the mission language. language. Okay, good. Uh, like uh, so, can you uh, tell me something uh, in in deep about uh, conditional statements in Python? Conditional statements. We have two types of statements, sir. So that is. Uh, No, I was asking about conditional statements. Conditional statements. Like if, if, yes. if, else, else. So are you aware about, about them? Uh, yes. Tell, okay, some, give some brief, brief description about those things. Yes sir, if, sta if statement and if else statement. If, if a condition is true, then the condition uh, will become a, it executes a code. It is known as if statement. And if else statement, if condition is true, uh, then it executes. If we use else statement, uh, if uh, condition is false, then it executes the else statement. Remember, uh, uh, nothing, uh, no block in the condition condition that we have declared, so we uh, is not getting executed. Then fi and finally, at default, the else block will get executed. Execute. Okay then. So, okay. so do you know anything about jumping statements? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, if we use uh, in jumping statements, we we use that. Okay, good. Okay, no problem. Okay, so I will go with my. I have made some few questions about Python. Now. Okay, I will go with my last question in Python. Okay, so tell me something about functions in Python. A, a function is a block of code, uh, and we use in uh, def keyword in function. We create a function, and uh, in function statements. We, we execute the How will we execute the code? By using key, def keyword. I was not asking about declaration. Mm -hmm. I was asking about how the function will get executed. By calling a function. By calling a function. function. By how? Uh, By name, name of the name function. Of the function. Okay. 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 For me, for me, Python. Okay. As you said, you are good in uh, HTML and CSS, right? JavaScript, right? So can I ask you some questions in HTML? Yes. So, which kind of programming language? Which kind is a HTML is a programming language or markup language? It is a markup language. So, what is a markup language? Uh, okay, good, no problem. So, markup language means entire syntax will be in the format of tags. Tags, yes. Okay. okay. So, how many types of tags we are having? Uh, container tag and single tag. Single. Container tag is a paid tag and single tag is also single. We use only single tag. Single. Like we are not yet having any closing, closing tags for, tag single, for tags. single tags. Okay, good. 
Okay, so explain something about image tags. Ah, yes, sir. Uh, in image, we use image tag uh, like source. We go to the uh, image and copy the path, and we give a path in the image source. It gives a uh, directly gives in the web page image, and we give the height and width of the image like pixels. Okay, good. Okay, then. Uh, Tell me something about supporting tags. Do you know anything about some supporting tags in my HTML? Okay, like uh, break, source, oh, okay, those kind of things. Break tag. If we use break tag, uh, in break tag, we if we use a break tag, then it it, it, like, it breaks the line of the paragraph or anything. Else. It gives the uh, like line break. Line break. Okay. okay we will go with CSS. I think uh, you are somewhat confused in HTML, right? So we'll go with CSS. CSS. So how many types of CSS we are having? CSS. No, you are not good in CSS. Okay. So you are not, not at all good in CSS. Okay. So anything about selectors? Selectors. Uh, uh, like universal selectors or those kind of things. Okay then. Okay, like uh, Sirisha, right? Yes. Which is that uh, seems you are good in Python, but you need to have some more practice over in HTML, CSS, and like web technology. Yes. Okay, so okay, uh, we are working with this thing and we will uh, intimate you. Okay, okay so have a nice day. Thank you.